It's a good job he's got a helmet on. It's just, and then, you know, just... Right, welcome back. Uh, it's been a busy week, so it's it's Thursday, and I've not done much used to build yet. So I thought, pull your finger out, get on with it, get it uploaded. Uh, but first, I've got a few um, mail calls to go through, and I've got my new logo, uh, and then we'll I'll show you what I'm going to be up to this week. Um, I've already done a take of this video. But for some reason, um, I'm not entirely happy with it. And I've changed my mind quite drastically with the project I was going to make. So, I thought I'd do it again. Um, right, mail. John, John Clothier. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he's, I received this letter yesterday, so I already stuck the, the sticker on the board. I've also got one on the side of my lathe as well with uh, Big Boys DIY. So, John sent me this. Very professional, I like it. Um, the letter says Hi Richard, thank you very much for supporting my channel and being part of this wonderful community. Love your channel, you are very creative. Oh, thanks, John. Uh, I have included my sticker for you for your sticker wall. Now, that's John's sticker. Like I say, I've already stuck it on because I've already recorded this. Okay. Right. Next one is from the USA. I've been waiting for this sticker for a while. It's from the Bearded Woodworker. I've been following the Bearded Woodworker for ages and ages. He gets some does some real cool projects. Um, he's not too serious. He has fun. Um, but yeah, I'll leave his a link to uh, the Bearded Woodworker in the description below, and for John Clothier. Okay, so I'm going to stick sticker on now. Right, and he said, uh, hey Richard, thanks for the sticker swap brother, I enjoy your channel and look forward to seeing it grow. Just keep doing what you're doing and it will happen. Hopefully it will happen. Anyway, thanks very much. Right, <clears throat> now the next thing, my beautifully talented wife, or should I say beautiful and talented, has spent the last three or four days um, doing some pyrography for me and she's produced this <laughs> is that cool or what? I love it so what I've got to do, I don't want to destroy the back She's actually what she's put on the back is initials, date and the subscribers I've got when she finished it which is 135 that is going to go right there. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to double side, get some double sided sticky tape and put this on there. week's uh, build. So a friend of mine gave me a load of these shells. He said I'm not sure what you can do with them but maybe you can incorporate them into a build. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, he's uh, ex uh, ex-military guy 
still does a lot of shooting. He actually, he doesn't make the brass himself, but he buys all the bits and he makes his own rounds, which is pretty cool. So, what I've decided to do. This is one of his old stocks uh, from one of his guns. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these, um, what are they, shells, casings? I'm not sure. Casings, let's call them casings. And I'm going to mount them in the actual stock and, uh, and make him a coat hanger. I think he's going to like it. If he doesn't, it'll probably go in the attic and no one will ever see it again for a hundred years. And then it might actually be worth something. Anyway. So, I've got to drill it. I might even epoxy these into the stock. Yeah, I think I will. Let's see how it goes. What do you think? It's so simple and so easy to do, but I think he's going to like that, you know. Just hang it, hang it up. Job done. Right. I'm going to epoxy these in from behind. Uh, I need to get that one in a bit more than that one. And then, I think, I've got to drill a couple of holes to mount it to the wall. Yeah, do that. drill some holes in it and drive these shells or casings in and that's it really I might put some epoxy on the back of them just to keep them there but what do you think yeah I think you'll like that so next step work out some way of fixing it to the wall. Hmm. Maybe I can go through the back and then pop the cap on once it's uh, once it screws in and then uh, pop a screw through that way. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Slash 
from here, Dave. Anyway, right, so I'm going to let that dry now and it shouldn't take longer this heat because it's really hot. Um, and then I'll drill some holes for the, the mounts. I might even, I don't know, don't know if I've got any air. I have got uh, an airbrush. I could have airbrushed it, but I don't think I've got any air canisters anyway. Right, see you in a minute. Right, so what I want to do is, those are uh, they're glued in there now, they're never coming out. I'm going to try and hide one of the wall fixings in the stock part here. Um, and the other one I'm just going to have to maybe put it in there. I don't know, do a look. So there we go. Um, let's take this lot off. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now I thought what I'll do is I'll put my logo on it. I think I'm going to stick it about there. So, what do you think? <laughs> really simple, just a really simple project, just to get a video out there. Um, I've drilled through the top here and then I've hidden the screw through this, this rubber cap on the end. Um, these are all epoxied in so they're not going anywhere and finished off with the logo. Yeah, I'm happy with it so I'll, uh, I'll take it around to him later, help him put it on the wall uh, and then take a few stills. Anyway, thanks for watching and remember, head over to check John Clothier and uh, The Bearded Woodworker. They're both really good YouTubers, plenty of interesting content. Um, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>